G'day everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use um, TechSoft 2D Design to draw some gliders which we're ultimately going to laser cut. So on screen currently is what my two sketches look like and um, this is what it's going to look like uh, when I've finished drawing it hopefully, or something like that. Okay, so I need to have my drawing scanned in as a JPEG, um, so the lines are nice and dark and not super straight but that's okay because in CAD I can fix my perfections. So let's get started. In 2D Design I'm going to press Ctrl N to just bring up a new document. The important thing is to go to uh, always set up my canvas, this white area, so that's the same size as the material I'm going to be working with. In this case the laser cutter has a 400 width so we're going to be going setup, drawing and layout and going to user defined and we'll set it to the material size so it's 400 and um, the bolster we're using is 100 as well, so it's 400 by 100. Make the material and the design guide the same size for the fact that you don't want to have a weird overlay. So we just double up the numbers and press OK. So now we see that our s this is um, the screen has been reset to the size of our bolster wood that we're going to be able to laser cut. This is handy in the fact that we can now reliably say how big something is going to look on our bolster wood. Now hopefully you've drawn your sketch to to scale, so my sketch has been drawn a scale of 1 to 2 and so I'm going to bring in a sketch and I'll show you how to bring that in and then sketch it uh, over the top of it and then pretty it up so we can laser cut it. So we need to click on file and import file, browse to where your JPEG is stored, so mine's here and in my case I've got two images already, uh, I'm just going to press OK, I'm not worried about this. Uh, so mine has actually got two gliders in it, I'm not too worried about that, that's okay. I'm going to hold down the shift button and just drag this out so it's a little bit bigger, easier to see. I'm not worried about the fact that my drawing being littler or bigger than the space for now, because uh, I can fix that up at a later point. So I'm just going to... This is tricky on a mouse without a... Sorry, on a laptop without a mouse, but it's, it's alright. We'll get this done. Okay, so it's big enough that I can see it. So what I'm going to do is Go up the top to Line, Color, click on Color next to there. I'm going to select this red at the bottom. So this is a default color for the laser cutter. I'm now, I'm only going to be drawing this top view, so zoom in a little bit, just move my view around. Awesome, so now I can see it. So what I'm going to do is a couple of things. Uh, I'm going to hopefully do an arc across, um, whether it's halfway or the whole way, we'll see how we go with this. So Arc button, if I left click and hold on it, uh, I can select which type of arc, draw an arc through three points, that could work. So I might just try this, left click, and then I'll cl click on the other end of it, and s just see how this goes. Um, okay, uh, that looks like it's going to work. I'm not worried about the fact that there's an overhang on the right hand side there, I can fix it up manually. So. Uh, might just turn off this step lock. That might enable me to be a little bit more accurate. There we go. So obviously my sketch wasn't brilliant, but that's okay. I've got a line drawn. I'm going to do the same thing at the top actually. So I'm happy with where these points are. Really all I'm after is uniform. If um, If my wing isn't uniform, as in if it's bigger on the right hand side than the left, it's got not going to fly accurately. Okay, I've got two arcs, which is nice. I'm now going to use the line tool. And again, you can see that I've got a big area over here. I'm not too worried about that, because I can clean that up later. I'm just worried about making sure that I've got nice, clean lines. Bang, and I'll do the one on the other side as well. And then I'll show you how to clean up your drawing from here. Okay, so I can now zoom in a little bit. Uh, it's probably harder to see on the left than the left hand side than the right hand side, so we'll deal with the left hand first. Where it says Del Any, if I left click and hold on this, I can move over to this and I can delete part of an object and I can just click on any overhanging lines. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Control Z. Might need to redraw this vertical line here. Uh, so it will delete any overhanging elements, which is pretty handy because it allows us to have a nice, neat cut. On the laser cutter, that means that uh, I'll have a crisp edge. So, 
Let's see. That's worked better. There we go. Oops. Just there we go. And this one's a bit harder. Great. So that's a nice clean area on the right there. Uh, on the left, sorry. So I'll pan over to the right hand side and do the same thing. And this should be a little bit easier to click on. There we go. Bang. Three and four. So that's how we use the trim command to clean up our wings. Uh, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, you know, draw it accurately. The the more accurate uh, you are, the better. I'm next. Um, I've I've got a center line drawn in my wing, so I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to change the color. I'm just going to draw it to blue, the bottom down the the blue down the bottom. I'm just going to left click and I'm going to make sure that this is a straight line. And the reason I'm drawing this line is that I want to make sure that I know where the center line is of this wing. If I don't know where the center is, it's going to be hard for me to evenly line it up as I space it through the fuselage. Okay, you can see I've got a smaller wing down here. I'm going to cheat and just copy my big wing and rescale it down. So I'll do that now. So I'm going to, with the um, selection button, I'm going to left click over all of my lines that I've drawn. And I'm going to go up the top and click on Edit Group. Great. So now when I select one thing, I'll select them all at once. There we go. So I'm going to press Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Awesome, it's there. Now if I hold down the Shift button and then click on the corner, I can then scale this down quite a lot. Easy. So the aim of the game um, with this glider project is to try and use as much of the timber as possible. The more timber you use means the more the larger surface area you're likely to have, which will mean hopefully for our projects more lift. So it looks like this could be a bit bit larger, but that's alright. I'm just moving it into place up there. Uh, I'll click over here. So now we can see that I've got my wing. It's about the right size. I've got the center marked. Awesome. So the last thing to do is to draw my my fuselage. So to do this, I'm going to just use this spline tool. And I'm going to zoom in just one more level. Well, hopefully I can see the whole the whole thing. And with this, I can just kind of click where I want to um, have my line follow. You notice that this is drawing in blue right now. That's not what I want it to be, but that's okay. And where you need more detail, you can click more frequently. Now, if you go over the edge there, that's okay because you can just use the um, the del path to the delete path to clean it up. So this hopefully should be a bit of a, a long flat line to the to the corner. So I'll click a few times in there. Great. Again, I want a nice smooth edge. Whoops. Might need to make it a little bit taller. There we go. More clicking means more accuracy in terms of tracing out your drawing. At the same time, less clicking means you can get nice fluid shapes. And fluidity, as you can imagine with aerodynamics, is an important element. Okay, now I'm just going to roughly finish this off. Double click it. Great. So now it looks like there's going to be an overlap there somewhere. Might just zoom in to fix that up. Actually, I might just first of all select that line and change it to the red color. Blue is engraved red cuts. If it's only kept in blue, yeah, you're just going to have an outline of a plane. So I'm going to zoom in now to that troubled spot. It's going to be left a little bit. You should be a little bit more efficient than I am with a mouse. But there we go. There's a small overhang. That's okay, I'm not too worried. Uh, the last bit really is to put in the sliding points for where my wing is going to slide through. So I should know the size of my my wing and I can use the dimension tool if need be to find out the size. And what I'm looking for is the, um, the, the thickness from here to here or the largest thickness. So I can press the dimension button. Might just change the color. I don't want to see this. I'm going to put it as green. I want to be able to read it, but I don't need, I don't want it to get laser engraved. Click on one side, click on the other, just drag it out. Just want to see what that number is, 25.95. So I'm going to need a line here that's 26. 
Uh, so when I click on the line, watch down here where it, where it says rel and absolute. This is going to tell me how far I've drawn. So I'm looking for the value of 26. Okay, so you can see the rel is what I'm looking for. There we go. Spot on. And I'm going to zoom in now so I can be a little bit more detailed. And as you can imagine, it's the same process for up here. Um, so I'll just quickly do this, and this will conclude the tutorial. Uh, importantly, I need to draw a vertical line. And you'll notice that this is on an angle. Uh, this is called the angle of attack. You can do it as a bit of a curve. I'm just cheating and using a straight line. Uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 degrees is a good angle of attack uh, from what I've researched, but experiment with your own levels. This line I just need to be about 1.5 mil. reason it's 1.5 mil, or 1.6, sorry. The reason I need that length, there we go is because our balsa wood is going to be most likely 1.5 mil. Double check with your teacher to find out what the actual size is. Um, if it's too big, your balsa wood's just going to slide out. Okay, so even though that's drawn in red, I can just go through and del any. Del any. Cool, so the last steps, let's imagine that I put in this same process here. I'm going to clean up my drawing. I'm going to remove that dimension so it doesn't get engraved. Select it, press the delete button. I'm going to actually select this drawing behind it and delete. I can now easily see what I'm doing. I can select these objects all at once, go to color and change it to red so that it gets laser cut. I'm now going to select all of my objects together and I'm just going to place these on the page in the top left corner. So left click and drag from the center I've got a bit of an outline rectangle. Great. And now whilst that's still selected, I can hold down the shift button and drag out to, to the corner or as close as I can get. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty happy. The only thing I'm missing is the um, where my, my rear tailpiece is going to get cut in over here somewhere. Uh, but this is the exact process on how we get our glider design ready for laser cut. So save this and then go laser cut it. Thanks for watching.